Hey there, fellows. So recently we experimented with restoring an engine without tearing it down. As for what we used to make it feel better, we fed copper sulfate into the motor using this here humidifier. And if you saw that episode, the engine ceased to operate after four and a half hours. You might have heard of this wonderful stuff, this is Dimixitum. And it works miracles. And so we have a car with an engine that is far from fresh. We're gonna have a look inside. And feed it some Dimixitum mixed with water through this humidifier. Perhaps it'll be able to make the internals nice and clean? Well, let's find out, shall we? Okay, let's have a look and see what sort of condition these cylinders are in. There's the piston. And isn't that nice? Some carbon buildup. Sludge. Exactly what you'd want. This engine has definitely seen some use. That is abundantly clear. Looking at the head. I can also see sludge. Yeah, this engine has been used. There's the piston. More deposits. Caked on oil. So that was cylinder one. And looking at four, same picture. That is a lot of oil. Let's look at the head side of things now. Yeah, this sort of thing tends to occur, but it looks alright. Very nice, there is plenty of buildup. What about cylinders two and three? Looks dry, I don't see any oil. Yeah, number two seems to be in fairly decent shape. There is some carbon buildup, but it's not too bad. And there is no oil, which is nice. Number three, there's sludge and carbon. As for the head, it's all about the same. About the same as in the others, there's the carbon. We have oil, everything is good. Yeah, this engine has been used thoroughly. And has driven thousands upon thousands of kilometers. Now I suggest we do a compression test. But since there is oil in some of the cylinders, it might read too high. Anyway, yeah, let's administer the test and see whether the compression varies. And get a baseline for the before and after comparison. Cylinder number one. Let's go. Enough. Eleven. Hit it. Let's call it 10.5. Number three. Enough. Oh wow, that's 11.5. And number four. This is not good at all. 7.5 in cylinder number four. It's too low. Right, let's fire up the device and make an attempt to remove all of that buildup. Clean the cylinders out without dismantling the engine. Let's do this. So while the car is warming up, let's make us that chemical solution. And while we're at it, let me tell you about some of the properties of Dimixitum. Turns out this stuff is very good at removing any sort of buildup, sludge, varnish, and whatever else have you. Problem is, it also removes paint, but I mean, no big deal. You'll recall that the oil pan does need to be cleared of any paint before using this stuff. Oh, what's going on here? Okay, we've poured the Dimix item. Let's mix it with a bit of water now. Yeah, that should do the trick. Awesome. Okay, the water is warm, and I'm guessing the Dimix item hasn't warmed up yet? Some sort of chemical reaction. Let's give all of it a stir. There we are, excellent. Terrific. Three little bottles should be more than enough to clean the pistons up. Okay, the engine is warm, that's all good. We've got the humidifier. Time to pour in the... Wow, it does not smell good at all. 
I mean, that is why we're doing this outside. Even in a room with excellent ventilation, that smell is gonna linger. So better off doing it outside. You may start the engine. I mean, it does not smell nice. Okay, so the process is underway. What's wrong? Yeah, let's bring the revs up a bit. And now we just leave it alone for a while. Allow the engine to run and clean itself. And in the meantime, we're just going to wait patiently. Okay, so here is where we're at with this. The engine has now been running for four hours with the humidifier feeding it the dimix item. The funny thing is that after about 90 minutes, engine operation became smoother. It's not even shaking anymore. There is a slight misfire, but that has to be a malfunctioning spark plug. But the engine is running way smoother. It's not shaking or anything. And though there is that misfire, it used to be much worse. And this tells us that it has in fact gotten better with this treatment. As for the extent of the cleansing... Switch it off. Four hours should be more than enough, I mean... We have to stop somewhere, right? That's how long it has been running. But the humidifier is continuing to emit the steam. No need to even let this cool, let's take it apart and have a look. So, look here. It appears as if in this area we did get a sort of light effect, I mean... This was quite filthy, as nobody ever cleaned it. But now it's a bit cleaner. It's quite noticeable, though the rubber tube is just as dirty. The carburetor looks better, though. And that's quite nice. Engine operation has definitely gotten smoother, and I like that. Okay, allow the engine to cool and do a checkup. Has anything even changed? We're about to find out. Go for it. Enough. Enough, I say. Why'd you have to crank it up that high? Let's go, number two. So in here, uh, yeah, that's enough. Same as the first time, 10.5. Okay, number three. That's enough. The situation with number three is, well, I don't even... Compression has risen by a kilo. <laughs> All the way up to 12.5. It used to be 11.5. And now the most interesting part. Cylinder four. Where the compression was very bad. Yeah, no need to keep turning it. Yeah, you were right. It also grew by a kilo to 8.5. So it's one kilo higher than it was before. So here's the situation. 1, 3 and 4, compression has risen by exactly one kilo. In number 2 it's the same as it was before. But let's remember what we saw when we stuck the endoscope in there to examine the pistons. 1, 3 and 4 were covered in oil. Number 2 was dry meanwhile. At least I think 2 was the dry one. But let's examine them once again. Yeah, the oil is still in there, but then why wouldn't it be? The piston does look cleaner, though. What about the cylinder head side? Look at that. Looks cleaner to me, especially around the valves. That might be true, though it might not be. It really does look better. I do see oil. Though, shouldn't it have burned off after four hours? Let's have a look inside four. As for cylinder four, the cleaning process has commenced, um, but since there is just um, so much oil in there, what about on the cylinder head? So the cylinder head side used to be covered in sludge, and it still very much is. 
Well, it would be. Oil does splash onto it. Okay, now we look at the head side in number two. All of that looks really good. Very nice. But then there wasn't much build-up anyway. What about the piston? The carbon deposits have begun to peel off in some spots. In big chunks. Very nice. Not bad. But then it wasn't too filthy to begin with. There wasn't too much carbon. In cylinder 3 there is evidence of some cleansing. It's pretty noticeable. What about the head? It does look slightly better, the valves. I'd imagine the intake valve especially. As the compound was making its way inside through there. So this brings us to a simple conclusion. Dimix item is good stuff, but only when you add it to oil. When you feed it into the intake using a humidifier, well, it cleaned the carburetor, which is a good thing. But not much has changed inside the cylinders. As if all we fed it was water vapor. I think it would have had the same sort of effect. And so those are the results, you can be the judges. Dimix item is good and all, but in this application it's fairly useless, I think. And that's it for this video, catch you guys later.